Okay, before we get making music here, we're just gonna do a little walkthrough of all the settings, inputs, outputs, control, turn this on and check it all out. I'm gonna power this up and just quickly walk us through the inputs and outputs and controls um, and buttons here. So obviously this is power, this is LED uh, light for the limiter, this is our control screen, all the functionality is accessible here through this button that both scrolls and is a button. Um, you can also access this functionality through the app. There's a back button here that's for controlling the screen and all the options that are in there. This, these are combo inputs, both XLR and quarter inch with their controls here. Um, these are through outputs for each. And then you have aux input, which is great for, you know, playing music between sets or something when you're sort of running the night um, through, through aux. Um, and then this is your mix out, which is gonna take the out of the whole mix from these two channels. Okay, so this is our on-screen controls here. It's a button and a scroll, and you can see all the options are available here. Main menu, here we get into output EQ, limiter, bass boost, um, all kinds of stuff, which is also accessible through the app, but you have it on the actual unit here through this control, and then you can go back like so. Okay, again, to show you up close how this is working, this is your gain control for channel one, digitally on screen here. This is gain control for channel two, and then gain control for the auxiliary. Okay, so now we have the, the subwoofer, which is very similar. Um, this, is, this is our main menu, same, same deal as on the speaker. All of your options are in here. Um, you can flip the polarity here with this button. Again, you have input one and input two combo, XLR and quarter inch. And then these are your through outputs for whatever analog inputs you have um, to route the signal out, one and two. Okay, so if you've never used a subwoofer before, you might be wondering how to integrate this. And the most common use would be to run everything through your mixer as usual, and then take the mix output on the PA here and put it right into the subwoofer input, like so. Okay, so obviously we have all the functionality we just went over available right here on the physical speaker. But one of the great things is having the JBL Pro Connect app where you can access all of the same functionality from your device if you're not physically next to the speaker, um, which is great if you're a solo performer and you can adjust things on stage or sound check and walk around. So uh, you just have to sync up the speakers with the app. Alrighty, so now we're gonna walk through the process of setting up the speaker with the JBL Pro Connect app so that you can control all the functions from your device. So I have not set anything up yet. I open the app and the first prompt I get is set up, compatible speakers and add speakers. So I'm gonna go through the process of connecting them via Bluetooth. So I click speakers and then we get the available loudspeakers. It already shows up, JBL PRX 912. So I click connect and then it's gonna ask you to please go into the speaker settings and click BT control, Bluetooth control pairing to reset the speaker for new Bluetooth connection. So I'm gonna go into the menu here and scroll down to settings, which is the last one. And then the first thing you see is BT control pairing. And then it's gonna go through its little process here. We're gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna click connect validating you get a pin do you want to connect yes and then it says connected so once this is connected i click done and here i have my paired speaker and i have access to all the controls so the app is one of my favorite features the fact that i can access and control the functionality from a remote device is amazing either whether i want to make changes myself while i'm kind of trying to set up and and do everything or even passing my device off to somebody else to be able to walk around the room and make EQ changes and there's um, uh, feedback suppression. There's a lot of settings that are helpful to have period but, but to be able to access them from a remote device is great and the app feels super intuitive to navigate again even for me um, which is saying something so I think it's really going to be a good thing for the working musician. Okay so now that we have everything set up in the app we have the speaker synced you can access your options from the app. The main things are feedback suppression, which is accessible here, AFS, 
and you have all these options for feedback suppression. And then you can access EQ settings in the app. So you have custom preset, which you can set. You have a flat preset here. And then you even have a, a speech option for you know any sort of event that's a talk or more of a presentation. So this is amazing as a, as a kind of DIY artist who has to handle sound yourself. It's amazing if you want to be able to walk around a space and feel the sound from different places in the room and make adjustments. It's super helpful to have this remote option for making changes to EQ and adding feedback expression and everything.